Hello, I'm Alicia, aka Rhapsody, and welcome to my channel. Um, it's been a while. I've been struggling to get things filmed, uh, and that is because I have a new work schedule that has been keeping me entirely too busy lately. So, um, for the um, next few weeks at least, I'm trying to at least get in um, filming once a week. I do. Uh, I'm managing to. Um, to film on Sundays so that I have at least one day where I can get some videos done and then you know parcel a few out over the course of the week at least so um, just so you know I, I do intend to make sure that uh, I do have new content for you at least once a week it's important to me to make that commitment so you know that I I'm thinking about you guys even when I'm so unfortunately so busy um, and and that more content is coming for you and I have so many things piling up that I want to share with you so we're gonna get there eventually um, and the other thing is I have to apologize for my nails which look you know just completely god-awful but I haven't had time to do them um, so today um, I'm going to try and get a few videos done while I have the time and the first one I'm doing for you today uh, today I'm going to be doing a quick review of Luxie Beauty's um, highlighters and eyeshadows. So I wanted to share with you, um, share with you um, the highlighters and eyeshadows I have picked up from Luxie Beauty. These four right here under my chin are the highlighters I have from Luxie Beauty. This is Voodoo, Luna, Wicked, and Ever After. So um, I will swatch them for you and then I'm going to tell you about them and then we'll do the eyeshadow separately. Alright, so this is Wicked, Luna, you see Wicked is a green highlight, it's quite iridescent and beautiful. This is Luna, it's kind of a luminescent blue. Wicked is kind of blue. Mm. Kind of blue as well, but it has a different undertone. It's I don't know blue violet, and ever after is more just more straight violet, just kind of violet pink, and not quite as strong in general. So I do love my um, my Luxie Beauty highlighters. Um, they are quite beautiful. However, I must tell you that they do have a kind of strong smell. Uh, I saw another YouTuber describe it as a baby powder smell. I guess that's probably accurate. I don't smell a lot of baby powder as I do not have kids. But that sounds like it probably is pretty accurate. So they do have a pretty strong smell um, in the pan. Once you put them on your face, the smell dissipates. But they are quite beautiful. And the top row here are my Luxie Beauty um, eyeshadows. You can see this is Prom Queen. I think this one may have been dis discontinued. These are um, quite buttery and pigmented. This is all um, from the Aurora collection, so they do have a shift. Hijinks. Orion. Very sexy. and Omega. Try to capture that shift for you. Alright, 
So these are quite beautiful. I do have to say though that um, if you look below at the ones I have below it, those are from Divina Cosmetics. I do, do think that Divina Cosmetics, which is an Etsy brand, um, is comparable to Luxie Beauty. Um, so if the um, scent of Luxie Beauty's cosmetics or um, there's one other caveat I have for Luxie Beauty and I have st actually stopped purchasing from Luxie Beauty and the reason for that is I was going to pick up a couple of a couple more highlighters myself because I was just kind of obsessed with them they're really gorgeous um, so when she finally restocked because she sells out all the time and then um, there was a lot of downtime and then she finally restocked and I was gonna grab some stuff but then I noticed that um, basically uh, rather than ha rather than giving the ingredients for each individual item, she just lists the ingredients for everything, um, highlighters and eyeshadows, on that she has for sale as one big nebulous thing, and it lists, you know, everything has this, 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 and this, and may contain this, this, and this. Well, I'm allergic to carmine, so everything may contain carmine. That doesn't help me at all. So I'm just not buying anything more from her because it all could have carmine in it. So Divina Cosmetics is a better choice for me because I know what's in each individual product. Divina Cosmetics tells you individually what's in each product so I can determine whether each one is going to make my eyes crusts closed or not. So um, if you're picky about your ingredients, don't order from Luxie Beauty. Order from a comparable brand like Divina Cosmetics or something else. But if you aren't, Luxie does have gorgeous products, as you can see. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my little Luxie collection with me. Uh, thus far, nothing that I have has bothered me. And I'll just be, you know, I've already got this stuff. I'll just be taking my chances until, you know, something makes me ill uh, and and fingers crossed hopefully I, I'll be lucky with what I've already purchased uh, until next time I thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day bye bye